chance for a four-point play. Now that's what Kobe Bryant does. This is what they miss. He penetrates, breaks the defense down, it collapses, and he knows exactly where Glenn Rice is on the floor. Now that's a big basket here. If Glenn Rice hits that three, and now follows it up with his free throw, a four-point play. Those are the kind of things that get you actively involved and actually will stimulate you to play better defense. Three-point play for Rice, who had only three points in game one and only seven in game three with a 21-point outburst sandwiched in between. Smiths again, this time against Shaq with the hook. He's three for three. Ron Harper. Shaq on the offensive glass with the dunk. What a powerful move. He just tipped the ball to himself. Dale Davis tried to keep him off the block, just not big enough. And then the powerful finish. Kobe Bryant bumped Mark Jackson for Kobe's first foul. One of the things the Pacers have done, they've done a pretty good job limiting offensive rebounds. The Pacers only giving up 11 offensive rebounds a game to one of the best rebounding teams in the league, the Lakers, and there's a strong finish by Shaquille O'Neal. Here's Miller, who hit his first shot and had the second rattle out. Bouncing to Jackson, now Smiths. Four for four. You think confidence is not an amazing thing? Now, Rick Smith couldn't make a basket the first three games. Now he's got it locked in. They had to help Kobe in the post. Mark Jackson with the easy find. Bryant hits over Jackson. See, I, I think as the game goes on, if Kobe can get his ankle to loosen up, it appears already he's starting to feel much better about it than he did the first couple minutes, Bob. Jalen Rose comes off the screen and pops the jumper. Two good screens, actually. He got one from Dale Davis and then one from Rick Smith. It's interesting, but Indiana's screening much better at home than they did in Los Angeles. Execution much better. AC Green on the move against Smiths. Count it, plus the foul. Oh, that's a bad foul there because now you've got to take yourself out of the game. Rick Smiths is doing so well. That's his second foul. He's going to have to sit. He just can't move his feet laterally. It's not because he doesn't want to. His legs are tired. He's had some sore feet, sore knees. He's taken a pounding through his career. The mind is willing. The body just won't move over there. And that's a tough foul after getting off to a great start. Larry Bird reluctantly removes him, although in Austin Crozier, he's bringing a guy off the bench who's been one of his stars in this series. See what that does, though? That enables Shaquille to play strictly against Dale Davis. Crozier's against A.C. Green. Now, Shaquille will help in the lane against everything. Davis screens for Miller. Rice fights through it. Reggie for three. He had made only three three-pointers in the entire series. He's hit two in the first five minutes of this game. Here's Rice. And Crozier pulls in the rebound. And he'll pull up and shoot a three if you don't cover him here. Jackson on the move against Kobe. Threw it away beyond Crozier. Your Pacers play lead 18 to 13. Timeout with 6.40 to play in the first, and the Pacers up by five. Well, Rick Smith's really energized this crowd early. You see him spotting up and shooting the jump shot. If Shaquille O'Neal's going to help, that shot will be there for him. And then Reggie Miller, Bob, as you talked about, three threes in the entire series. Steps back, hit his second of the game. They're off to a great start here as they lead by five. They've hit eight of their first ten field goal attempts and five in a row. Yes, this graphic is correct. Rick Smith has gotten off to a great start, hitting his first four shots. But you see those two fouls as he has to sit on the bench. But the importance of this is, see, Shaquille O'Neal has to play him now. You keep him occupied, he burns energy. Little up fake, he drives the ball to the basket. 
Well, fading little jump hook shot, the confidence soaring. Shaq helps in the lane, he pulls out and he hits a jump shot. Now with him going down with fouls, he'll slide over and play Dale da Davis and be much of a help defender. So it will clog up the lane. So we'll have to watch here to see what happens to the Pacer offense. Ordinarily, you do take a player out after two fouls at that juncture of the first quarter. But could Bird have made an exception in this case with Smith's hot and breaking through for the first time in the series? Well, the only thing is he's shown uh, that he picks up the fouls in bunches throughout the whole series. Shaq's jumper spins out, and there's a foul on the rebound. Well, Bob, just to follow up, that if, if he felt that Rick Smith could play out there without getting a touch foul, maybe. But we have not seen that. We've seen when he's gotten two, that he's followed it up with another quick one or even two more. So I think Bird is playing the percentages here that he's going to need him the rest of the night. That foul is on Crozier. Laker ball from the side. Kobe looking to operate. And they'll call him for steps. Now there is where the ankle is not strong. He tried to plant and he couldn't and it just gave way. He lost his footing and he traveled. He actually put the left arm out. It was very fortunate he didn't pick up the offensive foul. Harper against Miller. And a whistle from Ronnie Nunn. Glenn Rice, draws the foul. Glenn Rice is the guilty party, his first. When you have a leg injury, the first thing that goes your balance. Now watch this, as he stumbles, he just can't get his feet underneath himself. I think for Kobe, the one thing he needs to do is to play in a better rhythm, not try to go too quickly right now. Jalen Rose over AC Green. Crozier crashing the offensive glass, but couldn't control it. A two-pointer just inside the line. Now, who's guarding him? How did they get switched on that? This is Glenn Rice now, who now has seven points on two shots. <laughs> Jackson. How about that one? Kobe Bryant pulls up and misses the jumper. Ball loose, claimed by Reggie. Stutter steps, takes it to the hoop. Misses on the drive, and A.C. Green has the rebound. Actually, pretty good defense that time by Kobe. He gave a little ground and got up just enough to bother the shot. Rice again. That one was a three, and it was long. Jalen Rose driving on Rice. There's contact, and the foul will be on Rice. Number two. We know that Kobe is first team all defense. You see he's giving ground there. Gets his hands up. Now he has one foul. He wants to stay away from the other one. And Harper comes over to help contest the shot. So that's good defense by Kobe Bryant. Glenn Rice will have to sit down with fouls. Bobby only has six points in two shots. I thought that other was a three. But he did get off to a good start. Rick Fox replaces him. Here's Jalen Rose. Cross court to Crozier. Miller with the fake. Two pointer. Can't hit it. Here are the Lakers trailing by five. Shaq backing Davis down. Double pumps it and misses it rather badly. Crozier rebounds. Jackson pushes it up the floor, and Jalen Rose can't finish it. Into the lane. Shot with the follow. There was a whistle.